I know dolphins are very similar to humans because they're mammals, but how does the dolphin research translate to humans? At the same time we were making these discoveries with the dolphins, increasing number of studies started coming out, large-scale prospective cohort studies showing that people with higher C15 have a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes, of cardiovascular disease, specifically coronary heart disease and heart failure. Once we started seeing that, we're saying, okay, we're seeing the same associations. We're showing in the lab and pharma based approach that are for humans, right, that it's beneficial. These were human cell-based studies, dose-dependent activities that are relevant, you know, activating PPARs, activating AMPK, inhibiting mTOR, like all these activities we want to hear. If you want to support long-term health and longevity, this is what C15 was doing. And then since then, um, so if you fast forward 10 years, 100 peer-reviewed studies since our first discovery, now the world is working on C15 and, you know, it's been validated. 